Welcome to the Bud Rebel Show. This is a podcast like no other podcast out there. We have really unique guests that have an angle that you won't see anywhere else. We have products that you won't hear about anywhere else. That ideas and inventions that are can make you a lot of money, lose your money, but will always have you thinking. We also discuss some of the most current topics that are going on in this world. And at the end, hopefully I have a little inspirational message for you all. Today's guest is Mr. Max Bain. Hello. How you doing, Max? I am wonderful. How are you doing? Now, Max is a person that we all can be very scared of because he's a wrestler. He looks like a nice guy, but I guess if you get him mad enough, he can tackle you down a little bit. Why not? Is that still scary? Now, Mr. <laughs> Max Bain, um, how do you get involved in, quote, this is, quote, professional wrestling, right? Yeah, I, I've been involved for... When January comes up, four years. Four years. Four years. What was the initial start of this? Whole oh, what was the initial start? Um. All right. So, funny story. Oh, I, be um, funny. Got a lot of guests on the left. Um. So I um. It was the first time I ever took acid. Oh. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Going there. I didn't know what that direction. Okay. Yes. I got but, some um, interesting drinks, but nothing like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I took acid, and um, strange thing. I, I like everyone has strange stories when they take acid, but like I, I haven't um, had any strange stories. I haven't <laughs> taken it, but go ahead. But um, <laughs> it was just some weird thing. I looked to the left, and on the wall, a portal appeared. I'm just like, wow. All right. I look inside. It's just me wrestling. And then from then on, that's when I knew I wanted to be a wrestler. So wait, what were you doing before this, other than taking acid? Oh, I was just hanging out with a bunch of friends. It was just a good. No, vibe. no, no. What were you doing in life? Before? Oh, in life. Oh, <laughs> I was a regular New York guy. I was working in delis, okay. um, construction, all that stuff. Like so, like I, I used to wrestle in school. Mm -hmm. this, this small guy. Now, what I, this has anything to do with? I don't, unprofessional wrestling has anything to do with professional wrestling or any of that at all, by the way? Like that type of wrestling? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's heavily influenced. It is. There, there's a lot of wrestlers who actually started off in high school doing high school wrestling and then just being like, you know, maybe I want to try this type of wrestling because it's, it's, it's different. fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. 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 So you saw you got to over something you just said this you had this vision mm -hmm. from your <laughs> from yeah, from yeah. my wonderful trip. Okay, I hope I took was, a trip. I, I hope we haven't taken too many after that. I'm not, we're not promoting drugs on this. No, show. we're not. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, at a young age. Okay, you know? okay, all right. But uh, um, but then ever since then, like I just it'll be I like just the first day. No, I'm saying okay. Now you say I'm gonna be this vision I have. This I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a professional wrestler. Yes. So what do you do? Um, I hit up a couple of outlets. Um, I hit up some in, in Florida. And they were just very expensive. It was like over like two thousand dollars to become a professional wrestler. To train, okay. To train, you don't be. I, I, you don't really become a professional wrestler until you know. It's like one of those things. Like, no one tells you like, "Hey, congratulations, yep. you're a professional wrestler." You know, it's just you just know. Do you see a certain technique? But I mean, mm -hmm. but I like, mean, I grew up mm -hmm. and I didn't watch professional wrestling. Yes. but I know a lot of people did. So I mean, I knew Andre the Giant. I think. I think it was very. I think I remember him. Yes. I remember the guy that eats the, the Slim Jims. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, Macho <laughs> Man Randy Savage. So there were there were a lot of they, people made a lot of money. So yeah. I'm saying, I I know the sport has a lot to do with like who you know. I guess yes. to move the ladder. I mean, what's what's it, like the world Absolutely. wrestling? What's yeah, the foundation? That, that, the, the 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 top of it all, the the pinnacle, yeah. WWE. Okay. World Wrestling Entertainment. Back then it was WWF, but that's that's the main goal for. Every wrestler is because that's where the money is. That's where the fame is. But that's where more opportunities are for like everybody to see you. So but it starts out. Is it like baseball? Like you have a minor league? Is that what happens? Yeah. Out? Yeah. So you, are, are, initially, what, yes. So, so like, what, are you in like, what league are you in now? I am in Warriors of Wrestling. It's Warriors a wrestling. great school in Staten Island, New York. We train out of Fun Station, USA, thirty-five fifty-five Victory Boulevard. Um, we are trained by Joey B, Joe Bellini. He used to train with, um, he was trained by, I'm sorry, he was trained by a WWE Hall of Famer. His name is Johnny Rods. Okay. And 
he takes the teachings that he was taught from Johnny Rods and he applies it here. Without getting you in trouble. <laughs> are okay. the matches real or are they choreographed, let's just say? Or what can you do? I mean, they did announce they weren't, quote, real. It wasn't sort of announced. So wrestling is indeed real. The, the, the slams we take, the punches we take, anything that we take inside the square, inside the ring, outside of the ring, it's real. So what you're saying is that when they like that, that thing where they throw them off the I mean the Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a trampoline. I mean people people have this thing where they think the ring is a trampoline, soft trampoline, where you could just get thrown around and just ah uh, no. It's it's Okay, you can't you're gonna tell me who's won who wins and who loses, that's all not it's a little bit of state I mean, I don't get you again. I don't want you to lose your title. Maybe maybe this is a bad <laughs> question to ask. <coughs> no. Um, wait, wait. You're coughing. So before we go any further, we okay. have a lavender, cucumber, or Ooh. we have a ruby hibiscus water. Cherry. Now this is the Bud Rebel Show, so we have weird things to drink. Which do you want to try first? That one right there. In my hand. That one. The one in my hand. Sure, that one. In my <laughs> hand. <Yeah. laughs> okay, we're gonna try the ruby. Yes. I don't know what hibiscus is. This is a big. I don't know this hibiscus thing. I don't know right? what hibiscus it's is. Very popular. This hibiscus is by the hibiscus spot. You I know, know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm gonna have a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna try a little bit too. And if anybody wants to sponsor us as for drinks, we're more than happy to try your unusual drinks out there. So we'll taste this a little bit before I mean, see if you cough anyway. Here you go. L'chaim. L'chaim. Cheers. Okay. Um, ooh. How do you like it? Ooh, I like that. Really? So now you're training. Okay. So that's a question we'll lead to that. Is there any special foods that you train with? Any drinks that you want to train? Do you like, can you eat the same? Do you have a different? Um, everybody's, everybody's different. Mm -hmm. Just like everybody has different bodies. I, um, I'm a little special because I, um. You are special. <laughs> you took LSD to get me. No, <laughs> listen, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but um, I'm a little special because like I, I'm, I suffer from Crohn's disease. Mm. Which is very hard to even live with. No. It's, 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 yeah. it's terrible. I have, a, I have a family member that has that situation and, too. Um, and because I have Crohn's, I, I'm sensitive to certain foods. I can't eat certain things. I'm on a very bland diet. Right. So like and that, what I was eating before, like when I was a kid, like pizza and cheeseburgers. Can't do any oh of that. Oh boy. So... And how does that affect you then, being a wrestler too? Because some of the things you probably have to eat a little more protein, I would assume. Yeah, I I, I just eat a lot more protein, more more white meat based, like chicken and turkey. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I I have to stay away from rice. Right. Soup sometimes. That's crazy. It's I'm... it's it is tough, but um. You know, I, I don't know if there's anything to do with that, but something I don't know. The the mind has such a weird instrument. I don't know if I've heard about Elon Musk, by the way, mm -hmm. with his Neuralink. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put like a little thing in your head. Now I don't know. I know, and then it's gonna make you. I, maybe it'll, maybe it'll cure you with other sicknesses. They're experimenting on monkeys. They you know, there's very controversial with the monkeys. Yeah, you know, they play it, it, and it's stuff. A, it's always controversial when you test products on on animals. Uh, right, but you don't want to test it on your neighbor right away. I mean, <laughs> I mean it depends like on which neighbor. Now, I mean, if you lose a wrestling match, something. maybe that's what they should do. Yeah, you lose, right. You, you get the, a neural lose, link. the loser has that's to do the experiment. Yeah, yeah see, there, there we go. That'll be very exciting. Book it somewhere, <laughs> somewhere out there. Yes, please. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, get a little bit yeah, it's pretty good. That's Actually, really this good. is pretty good. This, this is, is my first hibiscus water, ginger cherry. Very good. Anyway, again, if you want to have us, you're a scholar. So thank you, thank you. So. Yeah, no, I think that it's it's interesting because a lot of they're talking about mental illnesses. It's gonna have to help to treat, and it's gonna help people, I guess, in concentration goals. But again, like you're saying, I, a lot of times the mind can make you feel pain more. Or oh, less. absolutely. I mean, like you're absolutely. saying that your sickness, I know, is internally, but I'm wondering if, if it could help you in that way too. I mean, it's, it's an interesting thing how yeah, far it, this goes. it is. It is very interesting. Elon Musk is a very interesting. It character. is an interesting. Character. <laughs> it's That's a very true. interesting. Character. Well, let's go back to your wrestling now. So now you are. Are you making money as a wrestler at this point? Yes, of course. And like, how much can you make at this point when you? Since you're pro, what is how does that work? Each each match you're is like it's not like a, I don't know, exact amount, but is it is it a decent living? I do good. I do good. How many how many rack matches do you have? Where do you play? Where do you I fight? Um. Well, I wrestle out of the same school, Warriors of Wrestling, because. 
we we put on shows every month. Oh, and where this is in Brooklyn, you said? We no in Staten Island, Staten. but we do do shows in Brooklyn too. Okay, Brooklyn yeah, too. Yeah, we we flip flop from like. How many people can month. watch these wrestling matches? Um, it, it just fluctuates throughout the year. There's like one month we'll be in Brooklyn, the next month we're in Staten Island. The next month we're back in Staten Island. Then next month we're back. In no, but like, so like, how many people like go to match? Cause like thousands of people. Or how many people go? Oh, like we we get a good crowd, like 250, 260. 260, and then they they pay a certain amount of money to go to the matches. Yeah, it, 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 tw- in twenty five. Twenty five dollars a person. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. It, 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 listen, you, you can. I like this. How do you have to go wrestling? You, <laughs> you can um, you can try to go to a, a WWE or AEW match, right. yeah. and those tickets are like. Three hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Really? Wow! Yeah. And what's what, wow. and what's interesting about uh, about Warriors of Wrestling is that some of these people that you have seen on TV, mm-hmm. we get some of them to come to our shows and they'll actually wrestle. So, wow! That's twenty-five dollars cool. to come see. Yeah, that's a, that's come a, good that's a bargain. Yeah. What a bargain! Yeah, you got, you, you got a bargain. And, and so, we and we have a very. What's your character? Are you the bad guy or the good guy? Am I gonna cheer you on? I'm gonna boo you. <laughs> you know, are you the sheik? I remember the sheik. That I remember that one too. Oh, sheiky baby. Yeah, yeah. so you like him? Are you like evil? Uh, yeah. Uh, you are evil? I'm, yeah, I'm a bad guy. Oh, really? Yes. Oh I gosh. am a bad guy. And, and what's your what's your theme? Like, what is it like? Um. You... So, my character. Yes. Right is um he's a mix of like different psychotic killers. People, you know, really? Yeah. <laughs> anybody, in, anybody in your family that you know you're imitating? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, so my my character is heavily based off of the Joker. Uh, I'm, ah. a, I'm a big Joker guy. I see the Bane character. Ooh, the, yeah, that Bane. that the that bit that, that the the last name Bane actually came from Bane from. I'm a little Rocky scared, Man. but let me let me. Can I see hear a little of that scary character a little bit? Why don't you take a little bit? Uh, you want to hear Max Bain? Uh, Is this who you really invited? You invited Max Bain. I don't know if I really want to hear you. I don't want to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just, you know, sometimes I just switch it off. And I'm just, wow, that is wild. You're, so you're an actor, really, almost. You're, you're an actor. Yeah. Did, yeah. You, did anybody ever get hurt? Did you really hurt somebody? So I did a death match. Just death match. You've murdered people. Death. No, 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 oh, no, 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 nobody's dying. No, no, nobody's no, dying. No, 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 nobody's dying. Okay, good, okay. And yes, death, not death, death. Which is going to bring me up to another topic in a minute, but tell me what this death match is. Um, so, basically, if you think about your hardcore match, you got chairs, um, trash cans, and all this other stuff. But then you intensify it more, where I got some skewers put in my head. Skewers, you know, skewers are right. Like, did you, did you mean put like the chicken in the skewer? Like, no, 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 no. Like, oh. like I was the chicken that was put into the skewer. Like, wow. Yeah, it, it was pretty, pretty nasty. That's not nice. And then uh, um, a gusset plate, which is one of those things that um, I know from construction. When you're building stuff, um, you put it so that way it connects, like, from, I guess from one wood to the other. And I got that right here, right in my arm. Zero, and, you hurt. Yeah, hospital heart. Yeah, I, I probably should have went, but um, <laughs> St- stitches hurt. Well, like, no. um, yeah. Um, I also wow. got I also got a chair thrown at me and uh, got a nice uh in, in in the Puerto Rican Spanish where we call it a cocotazo, but it's a bump. You know, like you know, like a bruise. I got one. So right this is a death match, they call it. Yeah. Now there's something I wrote a while ago. It's sort of like the death. It was the you know, people seem to like the you know, concept. It was like if you knew. You were gonna die like, like two months. Yeah. So they they, they they give you a date when you're gonna die. Let's say right. Yeah. And so you are gonna suffer the next two months. So you could like end it so you wouldn't suffer. Mm-hmm. Would you do that, or would you like keep battling? Maybe they'll come on cure. Or you want to say goodbye to your family? Would you just like, you know, there's a future. What would you do? It's actually crazy because it's as sick as I am. That's something I think of sometimes. You know, like like, what if? You had a date, and, you know. You know. And um, I think, let me go. <laughs> you, 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 you they, they, somebody come up your computer. It said, yeah. Bane, January fifth is your last day. You just off at January. Dude, not, not even at twenty. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. January fifth yeah. is when you start declining. Okay. Is it January fourth and you off yourself? Join. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
But now the problem is okay. his name was Bane, Max yeah. Bane. Yeah. But you're not the Max Bane that was going to die. Yeah. There's another Max Bane that was going to die. <laughs> so you offed yourself, and the other Max Bane lives. They got the computer got mixed up with the two people. Okay. So you just killed yourself for no reason. <laughs> I said, if that happens, my family knows what to do. Because, I mean, at the same point, <laughs> yes. again, another like little rebellious side, which I'm fascinated I heard this story. I, I, I can't believe I heard this story. I don't know how comfortable you are. They told me you got kidnapped, which is, I mean, at that point, when you get kidnapped, that's feeling like you're going to die probably. Tell yeah. me about this thing. This is crazy. So, um, no names, obviously. Sure. But um, somebody who I really trusted, who was a friend of mine, Back then, young, like, hey, there's some girls that want to hang out with us and stuff like that. I'm like, all right, cool. Trust them. And obviously, I'm a young guy. What do I want? I want to hang out with girls. So, hang out. But we're in a car. We're hanging out in a car. Um, having a little fun, whatever. And then, um, I want to go home at this point. Because I'm just like, I, I, already, I already have my fun. I just want to go home. The others wanted me to stay. They just wanted me to stay. They, for some reason, they just wanted me to stay and hang out and, and party with them more and do whatever. And they were actually, I didn't know this until like days later, they were doing crazy drugs. Like they, they, they were on, on, on different types of pills and it was just, it, it's sick. Like it's kind of normal in Staten Island because of, it's just like a trend out there. To do pills and disgusting drugs and stuff like that. So, because they wanted me to stay, and he wanted me to stay, they were like, they they made this whole thing where like, okay, we're gonna go drop him off. They literally go right by my house, and then as soon as they make the left to go to my house. Lock the doors and then they press the fucking gas and they just go. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. And they just go and I'm like, all right, joke's over. Like, come on, like, <laughs> like I want to go home. Nobody's talking to me. My friend, who I thought was my friend, was right next to me, was holding me because he knew that I would jump out the car. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, I'm kind of going back and forth with him. He's about my same st structure, but he was doing like some type of boxing or whatever, so he had some type of strength. And at the time, I wasn't doing anything. And they take me to this motel, and they're like, "Yo, like, don't do nothing stupid, don't do anything stupid." My friend had a knife to me. Oh my gosh, this is your friend. My friend had a knife to me. Wow. And as a kid, you just don't know what to do. Sure. So I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to go in the room, whatever. I get in the room, and, like, now they're now they're shooting up. Oh, my gosh. And, and, and they're trying to get me to start taking pills. They're trying to get me to take a sip of something or try to take a drink. And I, 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 just, I just stayed in a corner. I just stayed in a corner, and I just denied it all. I let them get junked out so bad that they all just, like, fell asleep and bolted out the door. I felt like they were just trying to like drug me and like trying to get me to do stuff. So wait, so is this and then what happens after that? I cut ties. I just, I just. You didn't call the police or anything no, like that. No, nothing. No, no. Nothing. Did you ever see these people again? Yeah. Anywhere? Yeah. And what's the Car name? karma got the best karma of them. Got, Yeah. Yeah. That's freaky. That's really freaky. And it, I, yeah. I'm really sorry you had to go through that. So that's like wow. But you know what? What's what's it's. it's it's so strange because we have these people that we trust in our life and you really, and you know, if you have a good time with people, you just, you just don't know where it goes sometimes. You're like, you're saying to you to go too far. I mean, and this is a silly story. This is like, I don't actually, I shouldn't bring it up here. It's too silly right now. But oh, yeah. what, you, what you're talking about is like, it's just very frightening because I know some people that, you know, it's always the wrong move. You know, the guy's hanging with your friend in the car and all of a sudden he's robbing a bank. What do you do? How do you get out of the car? It's so important to have good quality friends that you can yeah. trust and, and they're for you. And you just got to make sure that they're, and like you said, smart, cut your ties, get out of there. Make sure they don't really know you exist with them. And, and, and I just didn't even want to have 
and more I don't even to do with it. And I don't even, I just personally don't understand what the game plan was. I mean, just say, what are they going to do? Drug you up and then, you know, it's almost, what's really disturbing to me, like you mentioned with the drugs, and I'm really, I'm very anti-drugs. I, I lived to, and I'm so strongly anti-drugs because when I was growing up, I had college, my sweet mates used drug marijuana every day. Yeah. And to me, they would just sit there and the TV was on and they wouldn't even, they would laugh and there's no TV. I mean, TV was off and they would laugh at the TV. <laughs> and it's like, they, and they had to do, it was like a job. <coughs> Anything like a job. So. I was always anti drugs. I was, only, I was one of the few people that actually listened to Nancy Reagan mm-hmm. that said, you know, don't try this stuff. And everyone around me was doing it. But, yeah. but, did, and I don't, but this fentanyl thing, oh, it's bizarre. Oh, it's man. so bizarre because it's like, I'm a businessman, okay? Mm-hmm. And I'm a businessman and I care about people, but you're killing your clients by giving this fentanyl. What are they, yeah. what is the purpose? Of, they're killing, they're killing they so can't come back. <laughs> they can't come back. And, right, they're not going to go know? buy you more drugs. And I think, I've heard people say to me that they used to use marijuana or whatever, they use all the drugs, and they said, yeah. no, I'm not touching anything because I don't know what's in the drugs anymore, which I don't even understand the whole thing. I'm, I know some people that just passed away, and I, it's, I don't know when I, I don't even know I should report this thing. I tell this, the two people died the same day, the same night, and someone else, no one else in the house. And I don't know whether these people took like drugs on eBay, they thought we're getting aspirin oh, yeah. and there's something in it. It's it's so weird. And I that's a, and that's what's interesting to me. Like you're saying, like these people who didn't want you to do this with yeah, them. They wanted me to do it. And that. why do they have to like ha- bring somebody else down to their level? What is because, what is the point of because doing that? I was so close friends with him that right. they thought that if I would have left or if I would have been told on them maybe? No, that, that he would have left too. Like right. they they were so concentrated on having him stay that they wanted me to stay because they thought if I didn't leave if yeah. I if I didn't stay they they wouldn't have him had him. You should be like me when it goes to parties. I go I get all excited to go to the party go to the five minutes I leave. I never say that. I, no, I, but no, but that's the crazy thing because I I, I actually do that now. Like I, I, don't, well, I don't I don't I don't really like to party. I, yeah, I, I mean I don't like to do any of that. Like, yeah, no, no. I mean it's, I like to go there and then it's like really crowded. I'm like. All right, this is fine. I'm leaving, you know. Yeah. But what a hero! This is a totally irrelevant story. Yeah, like, this is me, the weirdest thing you'll hear yeah. in your life. But I was trapped. This is by this one. I guess I was. I was. What do you call it? Like when somebody is like trying to follow. What's it called? Like someone trying to catch you. I'm trying like to stalk um, you. Stalk you. Yes. Right. A little different. Okay. So I'm driving my car, a Tesla. Okay. And I park my car in the garage. I get out of the car. I hear this large noise. I think it's a carbon monoxide. I'm running all over the house. Yeah. I go downstairs. I sit in the car. It stops. Mm-hmm. That's weird. What's going on? So I get out of the car again. No, 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 get out of the car. I just lift my butt like this. Okay? This happened, this happened yesterday. So it's like, so I'm like, what's going on? This is weird. It's very strange. And then I have someone else sit in the car instead of me. I'm like, what is this car trying to tell me? So I'm sitting in the car and now I get up, right? And I get up and I go on to start going to the passenger side just slightly. One of my tuchuses is on the yeah. side. But as we pass that line, I sit down again. I call Tesla, the motor company. I start talking to them. They, they don't know and they have no idea what's going on. So like this car like wants me to be there. I finally gave up. He's going all over the craziness. And, and and then all of a sudden, my son sits down and it quiets down. Okay. So it's either my my DNA that it liked or something. <laughs> it stopped, but it's like the strangest thing. So I don't wow. know. I, mean, I was almost wow. kidnapped by my own car. It wow. just happened yesterday. Well, your car's a transformer. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know that. I think car could love you that much. It's very a very unusual thing. No, but don't leave. Don't Drive leave. Right. Exactly. More. It's really weird. I, that, I mean, it's funny because I didn't think we we're gonna have a discussion, but it gets. It's like that. Um, the people could like really like being a, being a wrestler. Yeah. I don't know if you have like all of a sudden people stalk you. That it could be like people get like really into that the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. You do yeah. get that type. Of, I yeah. mean, you're not that. That's what yeah, gets scary. I, it, it, it got up to. It, it, it sometimes, sometimes they don't know personal boundaries. boundaries. Mm-hmm. Where like um, I go to train, and then some of them they find out where we're training and stuff like that and then they come to the training but like they wait outside Ooh. and then they're like you know it's it's, it's, a, like, it's weird yeah it's like it's also like you don't want to be like rude and you know you're excited these are your yeah, parents no, these are yeah. people like well, I'm willing to buy your shirts and your hats and all that stuff yeah. and, but you have to draw some type of line because you have a life so how do you do you have how do you have that situation how do you deal with that like I, I, I've had I've had actually one fan Wait for me outside, 
and say hi. I was waiting for you, and but like it was just like all right, like you see me at the shows. I do give out my merch. I sign anything you want at the shows, but I'm in my personal like I'm training right now. Like I don't like. So they stopped. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's cool. They, they, some of them they'll respect it. Some of them. I think. I think sometimes you know what I once had a. A girl that was like really attracted to me, and I was just, I was just a jerk. Yeah, you just be a jerk. So I don't know what you're like really a jerk. <laughs> you're like really like be like a jerk. It could really work. Yeah, like I, 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 I actually <laughs> remember um, something interesting. I was actually on a date, and some fa- about like three or four fans. They were in a group, and they saw me. They were like, "Oh my God, it's Max Bane!" I'm sitting there, eating, drinking, having a nice time, and. It's just, Oh my god, let me get a picture. <laughs> it's just like, all right, like you can ask. Right. Like, right. Like let's no, and you're not even you're not even WWF yet. No. Right, so you and you wanna to get to WWF. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wanna to get to I the WWF. And, and I wanna to get to WWF too. I don't yeah. know. I can deal with it. I'll deal with the fans here. I was in I was I my first film we did all screwed up and I went to stop and shop and I was like, whatever, right here. Yes. And this person it was filmed in New City by the end, the person ran up to me wasn't my, my, my signature and then like okay I was very excited it doesn't yeah. happen to be like, it, like it, it's, it's like fun. certain points yeah. it's really yeah. it, it's it's like okay it's wholesome you know right like, right but then it's just certain points it's just like alright like now if you weren't doing this work would you like do you have any like quote any like ideas that you think like product ideas or business ideas that you thought would be interesting in your life well you I've thought of anything I have well let's hear that uh, before um, I talk online <laughs> Um, so I actually am in the cannabis business. Cannabis. 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 Yes. First LSD, now cannabis. Uh oh. <coughs> I don't. But, um, get, oh, cannabis will get different. But but yes. cannabis more for medicinal purposes, okay. not for, like of course I I I'm sound hypocritical, but like I I don't necessarily really believe in so much of the recreational. Like yeah, I much rather. Smoke a joint, then you know, get drunk and then get behind the car, right. do something stupid. Um, and yes, cannabis is psychoactive, so like you know, some people they'll let the cannabis take over their brain. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, it, 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 I, I, there's no arguments for me on on any certain standpoints with right. even being against cannabis because I grew up with my grandmother and she super super anti cannabis, and it's understandable because like I understand from one point I just it helps mis- some people and it hurts certain people yes absolutely and I, and I, and I, I always I, say it to yeah. everybody I meet cannabis is not for everyone no it's not it's, it's like not. and then, you know what it's like the same thing with alcohol I, I have a drink but I, I just get scared personally I get scared doing that because I think it affects my brain and I've seen people like become really paranoid and that yeah, freaks no, me it's, out it's, I, I don't I get too scared I, I, need, I don't want to get paranoid enough I have enough yeah, no, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a psychoactive in, 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 in cannabis. But I guess there are some people that helps with cancer and some other it, things. It helps and... with my, my Crohn's. It helps right. me gain an appetite. It helps um, lower the inflammation in my large intestines. So you have this business you sell that's legally. Legally, okay. absolutely. No, not doing anything yes. illegal. No, nothing illegal at Nothing all. illegal. Everything no. is completely Okay, illegal. good. And so, yeah. And I guess in that market, it, what? how do you separate yourself from the other... <clears throat> we we mostly target um, medicinal um, patients. Oh, That's and is it smoking this stuff also? Smoking um, because I edible. Think, I think I just think smoking anything is not good. No, for it's not. It's not. I think, I, I think the only thing you should be breathing is air. I don't know. I've always felt like I, I thought they always had these ads in the fifties about it, people smoking cigarettes. And like <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah. doctor saying it's good. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I have common sense. This is just doesn't make sense. Smoking, you just breathe in air. I think, you know, I don't even think of breathing in smoke of celery. Yeah, I can't no, imagine yeah. anything. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, smoking what, anything. Smoking yeah, anything. I mean, the, period, no the, matter if it's cannabis, tobacco, water. water, and it doesn't matter. Smoking is completely bad for you. Yeah, I mean, you I develop could, the bronchitis right. and, and, and all different types of stuff. But if you're really sick, then you have to treat it some fast Yes, way. because um, the most effective way of of having cannabis is smoking mm-hmm. because it hits your right bloodstream away. and your saliva way faster than you would have to eat an edible where, or even drink a, a, a drink, drink that has cannabis in it because um, I don't mean it to interrupt. Down. I yeah. don't mean to interrupt, but I just want to tell you because it's before my brain forgets. I'm watching this show called Where Does Food Begin? Mm-hmm. A podcast, a really good podcast, by the way. 
and they were talking about how Coke, Coca Cola, till 1903 had cocaine in it, mm -hmm. and they were drinking it, and it was just like it was just so interesting how like you know, that's why it got so popular. Yeah. They had Coke wine. I mean, I don't know. It's interesting because you mentioned cannabis drinking it. You can drink yeah. it too. No one yeah, ever talked absolutely. about drinking it. How? You can how I mean, do people people use it to drink? Do they, how fast does it work with drinking versus smoking it? It's it's out. the same. It's the same as like taking an edible. It, it goes through your digestive system, so it takes longer. It right. might take um, fifteen to thirty minutes, or even an hour. But the other thing would work right away. And if you have like a lot of pain, it yes, goes right so through. It kind of just kills the pain type thing, yes. basically. Yes. Right. Okay. So one, I'm just interested in your product. I did invent a product that I got a patent pending. And I thought, just want to see what you thought about it because it bothers me. We never went any further. It was called Compact Can. I actually had a commercial for Compact it. Can? Yeah. And it's a garbage can. Okay. Do you remember when you, I don't know if you went camping when you were younger. Yeah, no, I did. I you did. Remember those cups that went down? Yeah. Up and down? Yeah. It was a garbage can that went up and down. And my theory was this when okay. I was going home from work, I was like, this is a big garbage can to put in the back of your car. And these compact, you can put like three in your car. Yeah. That's what it first came okay. yeah. And I'm like, Car, oh no, garbage cans are disgusting after a while. You want to clean them. Yeah. You have to put your hand in, it's so gross. You comfy squeeze it, you clean it. Yeah. It, and, it, and you go bring it with you. And I thought it was a cool idea. I was going to sell it to Rob Mate, but nothing ever happened to him. But I think it's a good idea. So. That is, that, that is, that is a, you blew my, the, <laughs> because like I, I, all my life, I either had to do one of these, but if there's, if, if there's something saucy on top, you get the jangleta, you put it on, and then you have to like, like, like come back to yourself with your, it's gross. Why not just have it come to back? Yeah, I, I don't understand why this isn't like it. You know, it's weird. Thank you. So you can advertise for my friend Robert May to get them put it into effect. You know what I'm saying? Please. I need this product. Thank I you. need this product personally. <laughs> Please. So, and the other thing I was saying, so you're talking about investing in, in, you're talking about the whole cannabis business and you know, the, the market itself is, is not so great. And the stock market, the economy is bad, but... And this is not a new product at all. I'm not no. using a new product, but I just want to tell people out there a little, little thing, a little hint about puts and calls. Do you know about that at all? No. Okay. So let's say you want to buy Tesla. You like Tesla. Yeah. Okay. But the stock is still too much money. Okay. Let's say it's 150. Well, actually, today it's 156 about. But you want to buy it. You could say in March, I will buy it at 150. Now, they give you money to do that. The money, you get money in your okay. pocket. Okay. Now, if the stock goes to 145, you have to buy it at 150, which means you are spending more money than you have to. But you like the company. If the company goes to 160 or above that, mm -hmm. you keep that money. Okay. So this is a way that you can actually, everybody knows, you can make money right away in the stock market. You don't have to, because you don't make money, stock market, you don't make money in the stock market until you sell. Yes. Or you get dividends, which is small. So this is where you keep making money. And you go, if you own a stock, Okay, let's say you own Tesla okay. and you're making money on it, but you want to, you know, you're willing to sell it. It's at 155. You say, okay, I will sell it in March at 160. Mm, they okay. give you money right away to do that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Right. Yeah. The big thing, though, if it goes to 170, mm -hmm. then you have to sell it at 160. You don't make as much profits. Okay. So who cares? It's like leaving the craps table. Yeah. So that's just a fine yeah. way to do it. I never. I only learned about this a few years ago, and it's just it's just that's very thing. interesting. Yeah, it's, that it sounds like a good way to to make money. Right? Are you are you like are you have a, are you are you married? You have a, a, a thing? Or are you, that's the single still in the world. There's still I'm out here. Find you. <laughs> I'm out here. Yeah, and the reason I mention that also is because it's, there's a it bring up a little controversial issue about they passed this new uh, marriage equity bill, mm -hmm. and you know I think I think nobody cares what you do with your life. Basically, you know, you do what you want. Nobody bothers you. It's it's fine, yeah. right? Type of thing. Yeah. It's just like I don't think we need to be pushing it on everybody. You know, let everybody do what they it used to be. Seen as in like live and let live. I know it's like a whole like concept, yeah. you know. So, you know, in my religion, being Jewish, there's ten men they need for mm -hmm. for type of services. Yes. Now, if one person is a woman says, "I feel like a man this time," and wants to be in it, it it doesn't work. We just have that sort of rule that we have. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and then, you know, some traditional places have marriage marriage and woman wife. I mean, I just don't know why they, it just seems so much a push that they could have said marriage is man and wife, that's what it's defined, and they mm -hmm. could have parriage. I mean, this word, parriage. Yeah. And parriage could be a man and a man, a woman and a man. And it's just a different thing. Nothing different, nothing more, just different. 
And so the world can move on and everyone can be happy. But I just don't know why they, it feels like it's being imposed on people. And like yeah. all these shows and all this stuff is imposed people so that they have to adapt a way that they may not agree with. And not that they're bad or good, just let people be. That's why I look at it. Yeah, I, I, I have, you know, I've so, always, I've always grown up with the, um, the mindset, just mind your business, you know, like, like people like what they like, people like what they don't like. Um, there's no reason to push anything on anybody and everybody. I mean, I don't know like, if the, I don't know if there's any quote woke wrestlers now, or can you just be a wrestler still? Or do you have to get to be? I think you know. It's I think it's the, I think it's maybe the only sport right now mm -hmm. where people are just like themselves. I would think. Well, we're not yeah, themselves no. acting. You know, think about yeah. it. Everything else. Is so, like, it's so interesting. With, with 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 just being a wrestler, it's it's basically you, but brought up to like like a notch of like ten. You know, so it's like extreme. Yeah, like this is so much like, fun. Must be. Oh yeah. See, like I don't, I don't walk around and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't, I okay. don't walk around like that. Okay. But, but like, <laughs> but like deep down, you know, inside, that's just me. But yeah. I can't be like that when I'm out in the street. I can only be like that when I'm wrestling because right. that's the only way it's really accepted. <laughs> yeah, we have a new item in this podcast. Ooh, okay. Brand new. Ooh, brand new. You're, you're here for it. Brand new. And it's based on mm -hmm. the shadow. You know that? You can, you can do voices. The shadow. Remember the shadow? shadow. Okay. Sort of in the, in the realm of like wrestling and putting on acting and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. in the past, when my father was alive, they used to not be able to watch shows. They had to listen to it on the radio. Okay. So we produced our own version. They used to call it the shadow. We call it a shadow. A shadow. And mm -hmm. this is the first segment ever be done. So we're going to play it right now for you. If I can do this technology. Really, John? You had to go this way? I, I don't understand. All the apps said there was no traffic. No traffic? Look with your eyes. This is like five miles deep. Can't you do anything right? Are you fucking kidding me? You want me to control traffic too? I don't know why I put up with this. Door? is always open. What the hell was that? Holy shit. That thing sucked up. What are we gonna do? John! John! We gotta leave! Now! Mary, come on! I, th I think we're okay. At least for now. Why? The shrubs. They appear to be some type of camouflage. Jesus Christ. John, I think this time traffic really saved us. Get it? Mm -hmm. It's cute, right? You know, I, I, I think what I try to do with that is that I go through traffic every single day. Yeah. Going to work. Uh -huh. And I was trying to have some good news with traffic. So yeah. this is the only time that you know if aliens take you down and they're taking the world down the traffic is the way that you can live yeah, yeah this is a nice little piece <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a little happy note so when you go through traffic you say you know what everybody least... hates traffic until there's a Alien. ufo attack that's yeah. awesome and, you know and it's like you know <laughs> once in a while you could think you know what if an alien attacks i'm in good shape while those guys going fast they'll be sucked up you know there what? you go you know what i I appreciate traffic more. There you go. Let's have more traffic. There you go. <laughs> no, maybe not. But at least you feel a little better when you're in it. <laughs> you know, I wanted to end the, the show up. By the way, before I go any further, sorry. Max, mm -hmm. people want to know more about your wrestling, what goes on. How do they find out about you? You can find out um, You can find out on my Instagram, Max underscore Bain, 1996, or on Facebook, Max Bain. Um, on YouTube, if you type in Warriors of Wrestling, you'll see not only me, but a bunch of great talent. Um, and that's pretty much it. What's the next record? Pick his record. Black. Yeah. Black. Yeah. Black. Black. All right. The Anchorman. No, no. What is the next? What is the next big wrestling match? The next wrestling match is January 14th at uh, Brooklyn, New York in St. Finbar's Church. 
On Bath Avenue. It's in church. We're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be praying and we're going to be tapping yeah. each other. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. So Jesus is watching. January fourteenth. <laughs> I might just come by there. I might just do this. Maybe we'll do a little bud thing out there. Yeah, lesson. absolutely. I don't know what day of the week is. Come what on day of the week is that though? That is on a Saturday. Oh, Saturday, Saturday. Oh, yes. during the day or night? At um six Saturday. o'clock. Oh, doors good, open. good. Shabbos. I can yes. do that. I really can do that. Okay, maybe I will. Uh, if you're my birthday present. So maybe we'll have two tickets. <laughs> Listen, we always like to end the show with a... Max, by the way, thank you so much for coming. But of course. as I do, I always like to end with some note for everybody to think about. And I'm going to be doing a little divitor, which is a, a sermon at my shul this weekend. I'm giving you a little taste of it by the time this is probably going to come out. I just want people to know that, you know, we always think that somebody's winning in life. They always seem to be moving up the ladder and doing well. And things are going great. And maybe you're not. And you're wondering what's going on. If you follow the story of Joseph, he was put in slave by his own brothers, which is pretty bad, right? And every time he felt he was going to move up, got brought down. The truth is, matter, we have a plan in our head, but God has a comedy act. So don't get down in life. Things are going to move in directions you never know. And just when you think things might not make it, might be the time that things get really great. May you all have a great week, and God bless you all. Thank you for joining us, and have a great night.